Hey teacher, why do I have a two in here? I mean, I've done all the work. So uh, what's my grade in here anyway? It's uh, it's like most of the way done with the quarter. Hey teacher, so my mom was wondering, you know, why do I have a two in this class? Hmm. I wish they knew how to check their grade on Skyward. This would solve all their problems. I got just the answer for you. Okay, so here we are starting at the home screen on Skyward. So first things first, click on Gradebook because we're trying to learn about the grades here. Okay, so first thing you'll notice right here in bright red is missing assignments. This is a good place to look at. Um, you only just see a couple of them right here, but if you click Show All, then you'll see all of your missing assignments from all your different teachers. But notice they're categorized based on their due dates. The the oldest the the soonest due date is on the bottom. Um, the latest one is up here on the top. So go ahead and close that. There's a lot of interesting stuff there. But what if you want to figure out your grade in just one of these classes? So notice it is broken into quarters right here. CZ1, Q1, CZ2, Q2. Okay, those are quarters. This is first quarter, second, third, fourth quarter. CZ stands for citizenship grade. And Q1 is quarter one, so this is this is the actual academic grade that you get. Um, let's just look at quarter four because you know this is the, the quarter they're in right now. So let's say you want to figure out your grade in language arts. So what you do is you click the letter of that quarter, that letter grade there. So they got a C. Okay, so there's a lot of good stuff here. You'll first you should probably notice is that these are broken into two categories. You got the assessment category and you got the practice category. More on that later, that's really important. So assessments are 90% of your grade and practices 10% of the grade. If that weren't enough, it tells you right there, 90% and 10%. But we'll dive into that a lot more later. So some another important thing, you get your grade here, your score, it's usually gonna be out of four. This is your average score for this uh, category um, and then missing assignments if it's checked it's missing and no counts is just that it's not counted if it, there's a check mark there so right here these are check marks they're not counted okay assessment versus practice okay so I promise you I talk more about assessments versus practice here so the assessments what are they so they're like tests, quizzes, projects, papers, things like that. And they're labeled here in green. Whereas down in the yellow here is practice. Practice is what it sounds like. It, it practices, you practice, and it prepares you to do well on those assessments. The assessments help a teacher to understand how well you understand that concept, what your skill level is. Okay. Now notice or remember from what I said before, assessments are 90% of the grade. Why, is, why practice is only 10% of the grade. Now, why is that? Well, think of it in sports. So in sports, when you're practicing, like in soccer, basketball, football, whatever it is, in practice, the number of touchdowns, baskets, goals you make makes no difference to the actual game. Now, you are prepared to score more in an actual game because you practiced well, but... The opposing team doesn't really care if you scored 100 points in practice. They only care if you score 100 points in the actual game. So same thing with it right here. Your teachers will give you practice assignments that aren't worth a ton. They're worth 10% of your grade. But if you don't practice, you won't do well in the actual game, the, the assessments. Likewise, if you're if you're practice if you want to be good at basketball, you better go to practice. In fact, the coach probably won't ever play you if you don't go to practice. So if you don't ever practice, you won't do well on the assessment. You won't do well in the game. So the practice is important, but it's not the heavy weight for the grade. Now to see some realistic examples of how this actually affects your grade, go ahead and head over to part two. Um, uh, want to hear a knock-knock joke? What do you call it when a cow jumps over a barbed wire fence, huh? Utter destruction. <laughs>